Hello friends, in this operating system class we will see the levels of directory. And in today's class we will discuss the directory overview, directory operations, single level directory, two level directory, tree structure directory, acyclic graph directory and general graph directory. The first one is the overview of directory. Directory is nothing but the a folder in Windows operating system. Okay, here the directory can be viewed as symbol table that transfers file name into the directory entries. Okay, so the directory can be viewed as a symbol table, right? Here the directory itself can be organized by many ways and the organization must allow us to insert entries that is we can insert any files or subfolders subfolders are subdirectories and we can delete entities uh, that is we can delete or we can delete subdirectories suppose if we want to delete any of the subdirectory and we have to ensure that there should not be any files in this directory then only we can delete this particular directories okay and to search for named entries and we, we are having the search option also one lens is there by using that lens we can easily search the entities and to list all the entries in the directory okay see here we are having a sample uh, directory uh, from this is taken from windows operating system okay here this is directory see uh, from the c disk we are having program files from this we are having office so this is subdirectory of this particular one okay from office we are having the template is subdirectory and 1033 is another subdirectory so in this 1033 we are having this much files right so here also these two these three are directories and all the others are files the directory operations here basically we are having four operations first one is search for a file create a file delete a file and list a directory right first uh, let us see the search for a file we can easily search a particular file in the directory and the file is having symbolic name that means all the file is having a unique name unique name okay now the similar names may indicate the relationship among files so uh, if the files are related to each other then the similar names may be given for all the files hence we may want to find all such files uh, that is also possible uh, in the search of your file right and next one is creating a file creating a file used to create and added into the directory okay we can easily create a new file and that will be added into the directory and delete a file if we don't want to need a particular file then we can easily remove that file from this directory right that is delete a file and next one list a directory okay so if we list the directory that will list the uh, files which are available in the directory as well as the subdirectory will also be listed okay this is list a directory so what are the operations here search for a file create a file delete a file and list a directory the other important operation is rename the file this is the fifth one uh, because the file name represent its content okay based on the content only we can give name for a file okay suppose if the name can be uh, if the purpose can be changed then immediately we have to change the file name also okay that is allowed by the directory operations okay suppose if we rename a file then the position within the directory structure to be changed because all the files will be arranged in alphabetical order suppose if we change any of the file name the order will be changed okay and next operation is traverse the file system that means if we wish to access every directory and every file within the directory structure that is possible by using the traverse file system 
and next let us see the levels of directory the first one is single level directory two level directory tree structure directory as we click graph directory and general graph directory let us see all those things one by one first the single level directory this is a very simplest directory structure very straightforward because all the files contains the same directory okay we are having only one directory in this directory all the files will be stored right uh, now let us see the limitations of single level directory and this is very difficult to manage when the number of files increased or when the system has more than one users okay if the number of files increased then all the files will be loaded in one single directory then this is very difficult to manage all those files and if more than one user added to that directory then we have to give unique name for all the files and this is highly impossible for all the users can give the unique name okay hence the single level directory is uh, very difficult to manage two level directories here uh, there are two levels of directory first one is master file directory and second one is user file directory okay this is the master file directory emfd and this is user file directory uefd okay when come to user file directory each user has its own user file directory and the directory structure is similar okay but this directory is only belongs to this particular user okay that is each user have its own uh, separate directory when come to user job starts the user logins okay user have to login then the system's master file directory is searched okay when the user login to the system then the uh, the system will search the master file directory and find the corresponding user and the user can access only this particular directory this is the two level directory next let us see the advantage of two level directory structure uh, the very big advantage is different users may have the files with the same name okay this is very big advantage here we are having four users and just to see all the users are having the uh, file a that means the same named file can be created by all the users and suppose if you want to create a file for a particular user then the operating system will search only this particular users directory okay if the file is already existing we cannot create suppose i want to create a file b then the os will search only this particular users directory whether the file b is already existing or not okay when come to deleting a file the os will search only this particular directory uh, to search the file for delete okay hence suppose i want to delete a file a this particular directory and it cannot accidentally delete other users file okay and the other users file a will be available okay the os will search only this particular users directory for creating deleting or all other folder operations tree structure directories this is the most common directory structure nowadays we are using and it has a root directory and every file in the system has unique path name okay here this is the root directory the root directory has its own uh, files as well as sub directories sub directories and a set of files okay and the system has unique path name that is every file uh, for every file it is having unique path name from the root and how this file will be connected this is the path of this particular file in this uh, tree structure directories a directory which contains a files or its sub directories okay and all directories have same internal format that is uh, the format of all directory should be same and the directory should contains a sub directory or files and a single bit is allocated to directory entries so the directory contains both sub directory and files isn't it for sub directory the one is allocated and for file zero is allocated okay if it is zero then we can identify this is file if the entity is one then this is sub directory 
and a special system calls which are used to create and delete directories right and the current directory current directory means it should contains most of the files which is currently required for the current process and absolute path name means the path begins root and follows the path down to specific file that is the path name starts from root to the specific file root to file and relative path means the path starts from current directory current directory to that file okay that is called as relative path uh, the drawback of tree structured directory here uh, the files cannot be shared between the user suppose if the same file wanted by all the user this is not possible to share the single file for all the users in tree structure directory hence we need to maintain a separate copy of the same file for all the user right hence it is very difficult to maintain if there is a, any changes in this particular directory the, or this particular file this cannot be reflected in all the other files in different folders isn't it so it is very difficult to maintain and the same copy will be replicated in all the other directories hence it occupies more memory so waste of memory acyclic graph directories so this directory is introduced to overcome the drawback of tree structured directory because in this the sharing of files or directories are highly impossible okay now acyclic graph means a graph with no cycles that means this allows the directory to share the subdirectories and files See, when come here for example this is file a the file a can be shared by both the directories okay those are from different users okay now the same file or subdirectory may be available in two different directories okay here the acyclic graph is natural generalization of tree structured directory scheme okay all the other schemes are just like same as tree structure except this particular sharing okay if we do sharing then uh, the memory will be saved and the maintenance will also be very much easy uh, the drawback of acyclic graph directory means if there is any cycle occurs see in this diagram this is a cycle if there is any cycle occurs then uh, the user will face a series of problem okay this is very big drug back of uh, acyclic graph directory the last one is general graph directory to avoid traversing the shared section of acyclic graph twice okay we can use general graph directory hence the performance of the system got very much increased okay so no need to search twice for the same subdirectory if we just search the major shared subdirectory for a particular time without finding it then we want to avoid the searching of subdirectory again the second search would be waste of time so to overcome the drawback we can use this general graph directory that is only once we can search the subdirectory the second search will be waste of time up to this we have seen the levels of directory that is the directory overview directory operations single level directory two level directory tree structured uh, directory acyclic graph directory and uh, general graph directory and also we have seen the drawbacks of all these uh, levels of directories in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit thank you